Alright, what is up guys, it's Nick. We are back, and we're a little bit later than I expected, so I had some stuff come up today while I was grinding to 56. Luckily, I was able to AFK farm for a lot of it, which took me from level 54 to uh, 55, and then I was able to 55 to uh, 56 in about two hours, I think it took me, or like an hour and a half. I don't remember what it was. It was like an hour and a half. Um at my normal place and so now we are ready to awaken so here is the gear you guys will recognize everything on the right here except for the forest eyes earrings uh i decided to take those uh was one of the free things i got when i came back and the reason i chose to do that is because it allows me to sell the duo blue coral earrings that are 44 million on the auction obviously they haven't sold yet but that's what it allows me to do uh, everything else is what you guys have already seen before on Sork. Uh, for weapons, it's Laverto Short Sword and the Dim Magical Kunai. Nothing impressive, nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, that's what I have right now. Um, I don't think I'll be sticking on this character with it coming out on PlayStation. I probably will just play it on PlayStation. Uh, and if I want to keep playing it, then we will... Uh, we'll just play it on PlayStation over Xbox. Um, and so here is the one of the Valentine's Day things they added. So yeah, uh, pretty cool stuff that they added into the game. But let's get into the nitty gritty of this. We have the quest. So we need to Black Spirit and we need to go ahead and do this class. I'm not going to go too in depth on... Um, I'm not going to go too in depth on... Um, what am I trying to say? On my character build or anything like that. We'll do that more on the PlayStation when we get that going. Uh, just simply because I don't need to go over it twice on the channel. Uh, so what happened to the rage inside you? Is it really gone? Is it? Don't forget who your real enemy is. Uh, you will never forgive the Sonnens for what they did. Remember your real weapon. What your real weapon is. So I'm pretty excited to see how this works out. Uh, so we need to meet Clam Cessary in Keplin. I'm hoping that it's not like exactly the same, but there's a pretty decent chance it's the exact same as every other one of these quests. Um, but I'm hoping not. So we're going to go ahead and run all the way over to the other side of the map to Keplin. Uh, and obviously I will save you guys that time. I'll show you guys real quick which skills I have. I haven't really filled out, figured out my rotation for the skills yet. But in terms of skills that I have and that I use regularly, obviously I use the regular RB. I use uh, LTB to do that attack. Um, I do LTA. I do LTRB, which is like the ankle slash. Obviously, you guys know I use this attack. Love that attack. Um, I use this attack. Uh, and then let me recharge my... Let me recharge some of my stamina. Give it a second here. I guess we might as well run a little bit here while it recharges that. But yeah, I haven't really set a rotation or anything like that. Still something I need to do. Obviously, I wanted to wait till Awakening anyway to set rotation because it doesn't really matter uh, until I set ro obviously until I have my Awakening weapon. Okay, so here's the last one: LT and X. This is one of my favorites right there. It has a continuation on it uh, where it just pretty much does it a second time. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the skills and spells that I've been using. Haven't delved too deep into it. I'll delve way more into it on PlayStation. Like I said, um, this will probably be after we mess with Awakening and then we probably have like a video of me farming with the Awakening stuff. That'll probably be the end of Konoichi on Xbox. Then we'll hop over. Obviously, tomorrow you'll see a Konoichi episode on PlayStation and they'll run kind of... They'll run together until we finish up on Xbox, and then we'll start something new on Xbox. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it. I hope, well, I don't know what I'm, I'm acting like I'm ending the video. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Let me stop being stupid. All right, it is, in fact, the exact same quests, but we're going to do them anyway because it's what we do, and I haven't done them in a while, so we might as well do them. So... We have Konoichi's Quality Reflection, Tenacity, and Rage. We are here first to do the Hasra 
ancient ruins. We need 40 kills here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do these right now. So we got a friend here. I'm just going to kind of run by him. Hopefully I can handle this stuff. Yeah, I can. It's always a little bit interesting when I'm not on my Sork. If I can handle stuff, I never really know. But it looks like, yes, we can in fact handle stuff. And that is good news. It's very good news. What am I getting hit by? I can't even... Hello? I can't jump. I wish I came here enough that I could tell how weak stuff was, because it's kind of weird not being able to tell what uh, damage I'm doing. At some point, I will get a rotation set down, but you'll just see me just do all sorts of different skills right now. Um, eventually, I'm hoping here very soon that I'll figure something out, but as of now, we are still in the works of figuring it out. Because obviously, I just hit Awakening today. Last night was the first time I actually did skills, and so, yeah, we're still kind of in a works in pro work in progress. I'll figure it out on PlayStation, like I said. But I still am working on exactly... I, I still have to work on figuring out how to keep my uh, points up so that I can use all my skills and whatnot, because a lot of the time I'm letting it run down a little bit too low to points that I don't want to let it run down to, so consequently, that's something I really have to work on. And I gotta figure out when's the best time to use my favorite skill, because really right now I just use it on big packs, and that's about all I use it on. But obviously, can I, hello? Can I get by you? Like right here, this is a big pack of enemies, I would usually, hello game, I'd usually use it like here. There you go. Get that off, and pretty much you can see, look at all that damage to the different guys that did. It's really good. I love it as an attack. It's very hard for it to... I don't even know if you can get stunned out of it, because I haven't gotten stunned out of it. So, I don't even know if you can. If you can get stunned out of it, it's hard to get stunned out of it, which is really nice. Like, right there, getting stunned out of that, knocked down. And the base version recharges fairly quick. The, uh, like, extended version, that takes a little bit longer to recharge, but it's still not ridiculous, and so because of that, um, I do really like it, because you can mix it in, uh, you can mix in the unflowed version of it fairly easily into combos, which is very nice, uh, and it, you don't have to feel, like, super weird about comboing it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Now I gotta figure out. Now I gotta get my ass out of here. But like I said, I still don't quite have the rotation down. We'll figure it out. Like I said, I just keep repeating myself, but I just wanna, you know, kinda emphasize that I don't have the rotation set yet, and that I'm working hard to figure it out. Uh, like I said, we'll have one more farming episode on the, uh, uh, with the awakening weapon and so I'll figure out a lot of that then but I will see you guys in just a second we're gonna head to the next one uh, I think we want to do the skeleton ones next they're probably going to be the most difficult challenge that I face and they're right here then we can hit mains right here so let's go ahead and run over there I'll see you guys in just a moment all right we are here with the skeletons and we have to kill specific skeletons so hopefully I can navigate my way through here. I always have my troubles with this area. It just seems like the enemies here are a little bit tougher than the game tends to let you think they are. So hopefully I don't have any real issues here. I could see myself having a little bit of problems, but hopefully we don't. So we need to kill 15 frenzied skeletons and 3 grudged. We've already killed 2 grudged and 1 frenzied. And this one frenzied skeleton is not dying. So we're just going to skip him, and we're going to come over here and try to kill some skeletons over here. I see three frenzied, so hopefully hopefully I can handle the kill here. There we go. Okay, so we cleaned up some frenzied there. 
Ooh, looks like we got a pair of friends. Okay, this dude's here. Friend. This dude just gave up on his friends. No. I did not even see him there. I was looking at my map. Didn't even notice the dude. Okay, so there's four. Let's see. We got a pair of them up here. Let's grab these. We did complete the grudge, so that was good. I would say I would, like, do a combo here, but I'm literally killing one guy, so... Kind of just kill them the quickest way I can. Okay, here we go. Here's a decent chunk of them up here. Hit them with... That. And then... Should be quick cleanups here. So that's 9 out of 15 now. Let's get over here. Looks like there's a pair of them over here. I've been trying to mix in a little bit of stuff that I don't usually do. So, like, I don't usually use the kick at all. So I've been trying to mix that in just with one random button press every once in a while. Just mix up a little bit of a different attack pattern than what I usually do. Nothing crazy, but a uh, little bit by little bit trying to uh, diversify my attacks. Because usually they're pretty basic on characters that aren't my sword. Like, obviously I have... My rotation on my sword, and I love that rotation, but at the end of the day, it's really not that diverse of a rotation. And so just trying to mix in little things here and there uh, as we go, and hopefully eventually I will um, start to get some more better stuff in, involved into my rotations and stuff like that, more diversified. Uh, just little things like that, adding in a kick, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but a little bit at a time. But yeah, okay guys, let's go over to mains uh, and finish up the final, third and final part of the kill quest. Alright, here we go. We are at mains now. Place that I don't really go all that often, so kind of always, this is the one area that I'm kind of excited every time I get to come here because I never come to mains, and I do kind of like mains, but really never have a reason to come here, so never really do it so it's always kind of a treat when I get the opportunity to come over here to mains and uh, kill them I, this, this, okay this tunnel's a lot stronger than I thought it would be all right so let's get here Pop this I don't know if in the scheme of farming that attack is really that good because it's a slow attack and, but it does do a lot of AoE and so ends up being pretty decent but i wonder in the scheme of like micro uh levels of managing the skills that you're using and time i wonder if it's really that good like i like it it does a lot of damage um but i don't know how much dps it does in comparison to other stuff i guess is how i'm trying to view this I think I explained that good enough. Because when you charge that thing up, it, it kills like a couple of seconds while you're doing it. It's not like the quickest thing to get off. Okay, I don't know why it's doing a kick there. There we go. As so I'm going to, I know one of the big complaints that people had that uh, they wanted me to do was zoom the camera out. So here in the next, after I finish this series, I wanted this series to all be in the same camera style. So I'm thinking maybe for the Konoichi series tomorrow on PlayStation, I'll zoom the camera out for you guys. Um, I've been playing on PC a lot, doing stuff on PC, not Black Desert related, but just PC related stuff in general. Uh, and so I think gotten a little bit used, more used to like being zoomed out farther because a lot of PC games are more zoomed out. So I think I've gotten a little bit more used to that. And so I want to give it a try. Since that's been a one thing that most people have asked, maybe I'll keep zoomed in on... Uh, I'll be zoomed in a little bit more on Xbox and then I'll try to zoom uh, out a little bit on more on PlayStation. But I definitely want to zoom out at least a little. Do these mains ever die? What is happening? Oh, I think... Did my weapon finally break? That would happen. Yeah, my weapon finally broke. Okay. I guess we're going to have to kill stuff by throwing shurikens here for the final kills because... Okay. 
Okay, how many do I need? I need four more. So let's come up here and we'll just shuriken ones to death. Mate, mate, okay, this doesn't do any- Okay, I trolled myself, dude. Um, don't think I have a- Hold on. Let's get away from all the enemies and see if I can patchwork this without having to run all the way back and then run all the way back here to kill four mains. But I need to get to a safe spot where I'm not going to get killed by- uh, There's so many mains here, dude. Can you guys leave, leave me alone? Wait, is there actually a town right here? Okay, hold on. This could be clutch if it has a repair here. Then I don't have to worry about it. Let's see. Does it have a repair? Oh, it does. It's, well, we're right next to Tariff. Nice. W. I didn't actually think we were this close to a town, but that is uh, that is big. That is mad clutch. Repair. Repair equipped. And no items to repair there. Okay. Perfect. That is beautiful. That that was right there. Then we can just come right back over here. And slaughter these mains. Hello, everybody. Take my sword back out. There we go. And down to one more main and there it is complete nice and easy i'm still gonna kill these guys because i want the i don't know what i want i want the loot all right so now let's get back to the road so that we can turn in these quests figure out where i need to go okay so konoichi path of emptiness so it looks like this is a little ways away, so I will see you guys in a moment up here. I think this is, yeah, this is back by where the weapon is, so I'll see you guys in a moment back up there. Alright, so we are at the Sa Chakram of On the Grave, so this is where we turn the quest in. So we're going to go ahead and turn all three of these quests in, and then turn in the main quest, and... Is it going to give me another quest? Okay, here we go. Sa Chakram Reborn. So this is going to give us the Oiki Sa Chakram and a plus 10 Sona Sa Chakram. As well as the Kunichi Skillbook Awakening Crimson Sa Chakram. So let's go ahead and grab that. That, uh, let's see here. Now, so we received the item. Maybe. Wait, do I have to go somewhere to receive this? I guess I have to chat. Yeah, okay, here we go. Konoichi's vow from the oath of the forgotten Oiki clan amidst a pile of dead bodies, she managed to find a Sa Chakram the Sona had left behind. She felt a mixture of profound sadness and rage. Ichi searched for the traitor, but it seemed the Sonin woman had already fled with Ryuda region. Uh, Ichi softly uttered a vow to her dead father at the foot of his grave. With this Sa Chakram, I'll make them pay for what they've done. I won't rest until the moon turns pale and all else is covered in crimson blood. Okay, so there we go. We can go ahead and complete that. And then grab the combo quest. So, let's go ahead and put one of these on. I'm going to put on the plus 10. And I'm assuming we switch just like anything else to the Sa Chakram. Transition to Sha Chakram after using the Jitsu Shadow Stomp. Okay, so we need to use down X, Y. Nice, okay. So down X, Y. Okay, so I gotta turn it back into here. Let's turn this back in, grab the next one. So now... We need to LTRB. Does it want me at here first? LTRB, oh. LTRB, Y, and then. Okay, that's interesting. Get out of here, you stupid spider. Okay, let's grab the next one. Interesting. I like. I kind of like the transitions. 
actually really wish there was more transitions that they had to show me than what they just did, but uh, that works. Interesting. So, what combos do I have? Do I not have any unlocked right now? Interesting. So X, okay, so LTX instantly takes me back to that. Hmm, interesting. Let's take a peek. Take a peek at the skills for Awakening. So we have the regular Awakened, or hold on, let's look at Learnable. So we have Halo, which is just A. I have 289 skill points. So I have plenty of skill points to mess around with this. Sawspree of Sonin. Lunar Dash. It's not letting me skill any of these. Dance Macabre. Okay, so I'm going to grab these two. And I'm going to grab that. I think I have enough to grab everything. Uh, do I? Yes, I do. I do have enough to grab. Okay. So now let's take a look at this. So A. So, hold on. So that's just the regular attack. Ooh, okay. Okay. Good old spin to win attack. Hmm. Okay, so that's a Lunar Veil. There's the spin to win. This is an... Ooh. An, uh, it's like a s upper slash and then slam the shield at him. Uh, let's see here. We had... We have this. It's like a dash forward. Hold on. Let it recharge and then I'll do it again. Yeah, it's like a dash forward slash. Ooh. Ooh. That's back right trigger. That's interesting. I don't know how much I like that, but it does slash forward, which is pretty nice. I think that's probably... That's one either my favorite or this is my favorite. I really like that. Uh, what else did we have? What other skills do we have? Hold on. Um, Awakening all... Uh, flow chakra. Okay, we can't do that one yet. Uh, block jump. So we did that. Is there any other ones that I need to take a look at? Okay, can I pop open my? Thank you. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like there's anything that else I need to take a look at. But that's uh, okay. I can. I can. Uh. I can like these skills. I, I like them. Not, they're not like crazy, but they're good. They're good enough. Um, not in saying, like I said, but I, I like them. So that's going to do it for this, guys. In the next one, I'll pick a farming area, and we will go just have some fun and farm with this character, test out some stuff, see how it works. And then that'll be a wrap for the Konoichi on Xbox. Uh, and then obviously tomorrow as well, we'll have Konoichi Part 1 on PlayStation. Um, I'll probably try to make that series pretty short, get it to Awakening, and then go from there. Uh, since we already had... I'll probably make the, the early game really quick, and then I'll probably make the mid and end game a little bit longer. Since I didn't show them on this character, because I had to get it to 56 for today. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop it a big old like if you did. Subscribe if you have a not. And I will catch you guys in the next uh, Black Desert video. Peace. Summer's cold.